What's going on guys, I'm going to show you how to download PCSX2 so you can play up your arsenal and deadlocked with the best experience on your PC. So go to the search bar and type in PCSX2.net. Next go to latest nightly, your operating system, scroll down to this PC, your drive, make a new folder, name it PCSX2 and save it there. Next go to file explorer, this PC, your drive. PCSX2 and double click the zip file. Click Extract 2 and get rid of this part of the path. Press OK. Alright, now right click the application, show more options, create a shortcut. I'm going to put this on our desktop. I'm going to rename it to PCSX2 and double click the application. All right, this is a setup wizard. For the theme, I'm gonna select the blue theme since it fits the overall scheme. For the BIOS, I can't show you where to get the BIOS, but go to the BIOS folder and put the BIOS in. All right, refresh list, select the BIOS and press next. For your game directory, go to the file explorer, go to PCSX2 folder, Right click, make a new folder, and name it games. Double click the folder, and put two of your games in there, up your arsenal and deadlocked. There should be disk image files. Press add, select the games folder, and press scan recursively. Then press next. Uh, connect any controller you like to the PC. I'm using a PS5 controller. Then go to automatic mapping and select it here. And press next. Setup complete. So go to settings and then go to interface. I like enabling Discord presence, start full screen, hide cursor in full screen, and disabling confirm shutdown. Games list is good, BIOS is good. For emulation where it says EE cycle rate, if you have a strong CPU, put it at 180. If you don't, leave it at 100. Enable host file system. Optimal frame pacing, turn on. This will give you the least amount of input lag. For graphics where it says adapter, select your dedicated graphics card if you have one. Aspect ratio, fit to window slash full screen. For rendering where it says internal resolution, depending on how strong your GPU is, put it all the way up. Gives you the best detail. Anastropic filtering, put that 16 times, makes your game look good. For texture replacements, go to the, your browser and then go to this link in the description. Scroll down where it says custom PCSX2 textures. Click to enlarge. And then scroll down and we're going to have two texture packs, which is the upscaled UI textures for multiplayer and the upscaled UI textures for multiplayer for up your arsenal and deadlock. Click. Download, download anyway. And we're going to put this in the textures folder and save. Go back, click again. Same thing for deadlocked. And we're done. Go to File Explorer, PCSX2, go to the textures folder. I'm going to extract these. Get rid of this part of the path is very important. Same thing for UIA. And we're done. I'm going to get rid of these zips. Now these are the code names for up your arsenal and deadlocked. Make sure it's in the textures folder. Go back to your emulator and enable load textures. For post-processing, enable FXAA. You might not notice anything, but I just keep it enabled. For OSD, uncheck warn about unsafe settings because the EE cycle rate counts as an unsafe setting. Audio leave. Memory card, eject these two. Create a new one. And name of whatever. Right click and use for slot 1. 
for network and HDD, enable it, select sockets for Ethernet device type, and Ethernet device, select auto. DNS1 address, select internal, and now for the internal DNS, go to the browser, same link in the description, alternate network setup, not the right one, this one, download this file with this button, go back put it in the root of the folder where it says unverified just click and download then we're going to import and open and we're done we're going to ignore these two and then go to controllers enable if you have a ps4 or ps5 controller just enable this this is your controller mapping you can change it whatever you like and make sure your analog dead zone's at zero. All right, now before we start, we're gonna get the custom apps. So go to the browser and then type in rac-horizon.com. Spelled it wrong. All right, and now download deadlocked. These are the custom apps for deadlock. Make sure it's in the games folder. Same thing with up your arsenal. Go to File Explorer, go back, go to your Games folder, and then Extract. Go to this part. Make sure the contents of this folder is in the Games folder. All right, that's deadlocked. UIA. All Select yes to all to replace the files. I'm going to get rid of these zips. And make sure with your game, DL and UIA, that the same folders are in the same directory as your game. I'm going to get rid of this since we're not on Linux. And the Horizon Windows update. To explain this, right click it and run with PowerShell. You're going to get this menu. So first, update maps for deadlocked and UIA NTSC. So we're going to select one since we have those, and press enter. So if there's a map that needs to be updated, it will say one pending update. At the time of this video, there are not any maps to be updated, so it's just gonna say zero, but if there are any after you download it, then it will say one. And just run it by right-clicking and press run on PowerShell. I'm gonna exit. Now we're ready to run the emulator. We'll do UIA first. As you can see, we have the upgraded text, upscaled text. Uh, before I start this, this is really loud, so I'm going to change the audio to 60. And now we're going to start. Press start, go to options, enable 69 white screen, and progress the scan. Press online play. Let's make a network setup configuration. Add setting, memory card one. Go right, select this go right, select that go right, select this go right, select this go right. Test your connection. All right, I'm gonna name it online. Alright, press X and save it. We're done. Go back and quit. Alright, 
Alright, select online play and log into the server. Alright, create a new profile. I'm gonna make a throwaway account, so my profile names will be different. Um, make sure you're playing in Luxury if third person is really bad. Make a secure password. Uh, mine is not gonna be secure. I mean, I guess this is kind of secure, but uh, just make a secure password for your own account. And I'm gonna turn music a little bit down and turn help messages off. And then, do you want to create a safe file? Press yes. All right, login. Select Quados. Accept. Press next. And it's going to download the patch for all the settings. And it's, this is downloading the maps. All right, now before we do anything, let's actually log out and edit our profile. For the camera rotation speed, you can go up to 300% now instead of the usual 100%. So for me, I usually play on 160. I'm gonna save it. And it will save automatically. Alright. And now press start to open the patch menu. And these are all quality of life settings. So always show health, I like having it on. Camera pull off, camera shake off. Field of view, I usually play at 2, but I'll do 3 for the video so you can see more. Level of detail, make sure it's normal. Quick select delay, press zero. You can experiment with it if it doesn't feel responsive. Single player music on. And we're good here. All right, let's create a game. Since I'm a cycle player, I play with these three weapons. You can play with any weapon you want. And let's create. All right, press R1 to go to game settings. And I'm just gonna scroll through all the custom maps we have right now. Oh. There's quite a few. And then these are the game rule settings that are also quality of life. I'm just gonna scroll through them. That's it. There are also competitive and 1v1 presets. So for deathmatch, you could do 1v1. And for c capture the flag or siege, you could do competitive. I'm going to do 1v1 since I'm in deathmatch. Let's start. As you can see, the game looks phenomenal. It looks amazing. Honestly. This is probably the best it can get. And there's no input lag whatsoever. Yeah, I'm moving just fine, honestly. No input lag at all. It feels amazing. Alright, let's head to deadlock now. And of course you get upscale text. Start, game settings, 60 by 9 white screen on, for his skin on, multiplayer. For online play, select network configuration, it will save over.
create a new profile. I'm gonna make a doorway account again. Uh, make sure your password is secure. And then his account will turn down. And I'm gonna use the muscle for this video. Help oh, messages I keep on. Save profile. Make a save file. Alright, login. It's like the lock server. Make a new account. This is downloading the patch for all the settings. This is downloading all the maps. Alright, let's log out. Same process as before. We're going to edit our profile. Change our sensitivity. For me, I'm currently at 275. Log in. Alright, now press start to open the config menu for the patch. These are all quality of life settings again. On game server, we have Europe as well. Announcers on all game modes. There are some funny announcements like you got wrench, you got sniped. That's embarrassing. You know, it's all funny. Camera pulling, I put off. Camera shake off. Field of view, I'll do three. I usually play at two, but I'll do three for the video so you can see more. Fix cycle order. Um, I usually do... Uh, I think this. Yeah, this one. And then fusion reticle. If you need help aiming with the fusion rifle, there's going to be a reticle on the screen when you select this. Um, I don't need it, so I don't have it on. Alright, level detail normal. These three is for your minimap. Are for your minimap. On the bottom right. And then single player music on, single top charge boot on, spectate mode on. Let's create a game. I play cycle, so I use those weapons. Use any weapon you want. And then we're going to press start and game settings by pressing R1. I'm going to scroll through all the maps we have. Quite a few. Presets, same thing as UIA. These are all the game rule settings. I'm going to scroll through them. New player sync is very good. It, it, elim it completely eliminates lag. It's so good. And those are all the settings. Alright, for presets. I'm going to do 1v1. Same thing as competitive. Competitive for CTF or King of the Hill. 1v1 for Deathmatch. And I'm going to be red. Alright, let's start. Shout out to Badger, Dan, Agent Moves, and 4Bolt for making this happen. And yeah, the game looks amazing. In deathmatch mode, be the first to score the specified number of kills to win. Game looks absolutely awesome, and there's no problems running it whatsoever. I can play just fine with no problems at all. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. This is an updated guide, and I hope we can get some games.